price of fuel, price of shrimp. This, this is a lose game right now. My name is Logan Lyons. I'm the captain of the trawler, my little shrimp trawler. Sam! Sam! Oh, I'm third generation. My grandfather did it, my father did it, <laughs> now I'm doing it. The fishing has been great. The catch has been great. We're just not getting anything for the catch. It's, we're giving it away. But it's no cool water. Yeah, that, that gulf is hard. The only thing about that too, I think that's why it's been such an abundance of shrimp too. Shrimp, they like, they show up like when the water temperature get like 80 degrees, they flood. When this vessel goes fishing, I put on anywhere from twenty-five to thirty-five thousand dollars worth of diesel there. And when I complete a trip there, I don't bring back twenty-five or thirty thousand dollars worth of shrimp. The seafood industry is hurting. It's the flood of foreign cheap shrimp. Pond raised, full of antibiotics, just bad people just buying a bad product and don't know it. They think they're getting something for nothing, but uh, they just, you know, doing harm to themselves and to this industry. But then what happens, we get smacked with these foreign imports, high fuel costs, you know, and it's, it's, it's sad. I mean, these men have worked all their lives, you know, and it's, some of them are time to retire and they can't even retire because we get hit so hard. My husband's been shrimping since after three days in college. He got out of college, jumped on the shrimp boat, and been doing it ever since. These men work very hard. They, they keep the boats running, the mechanics of it, the fiberglassing, the outriggers, the nets. It's all work, and um, they're working hard now trying to get their boats fixed after they were put back in the water after the hurricane. We don't know what's laying in the water. It, it, it was just pure devastation. When a boat's not able to work, the net man's out of work, the fiberglass man's out of work, not as much fuel's being bought. We buy groceries at the local grocery store. I mean, we economically, we bring money here, we spend money here, we're all local. So all of our money stays here. And that was the reason that the government put us back in the water and spent the money to put us back into the water, you know, because they knew that we were a viable industry price of shrimp is so low because of the foreign imports that it's hard to make a living. Sometimes, you know, I might go 30 hours without a drop of sleep, you know, and like I said, you know, when the money is there, you don't mind doing it, but when the money is not there, hey, it's a pain, you know, you just don't have the motivation. It's dying, it's dying. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.